Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video, uh, we will look into the you know transition state, uh, like how to interpret the data and you know all the transition state, how to put in the picture a pictorial form, and which energy we have to see, like uh, we have to see the total energy or we have to see the you know delta G, that uh, free energy. What are the ways to take the energies? We'll look into it. Okay. So suppose we have we are whenever we are performing a transition state calculation, you will be getting uh, one total energy of your transition state, right? Suppose this is my transition state. I'll get uh, you know the total. You go to the summary. You will see this is your uh, total energy of your molecule in atomic unit. That is heart rate. Fine. So, whenever you are considering the reaction mechanism, don't use this total energy. Okay, go to this uh, thermodynamic properties, and here you see this uh, energy plus thermal free energy correction. This energy you should use for your, you know, reaction and that uh, potential energy product that you are trying to draw. So, always use this free energy correction value. Okay, don't use uh, total energy because you know the total energy will not give you a good uh, potential energy surface because potential energy surface is the you know the free energy versus the you know the reaction coordinate uh, with respect to your nuclear motion of your molecule so i will suggest use this free energy and how to use this data okay suppose uh, i will just give a hint suppose this is my transition state okay so at the transition state, I have uh, this uh, ligand and this complex, right? So what I will do is uh, I, I want to find the del G value for this step. So this is uh, kind of your product. And in the reactant side, you will be having uh, the ligand and another complex, metal complex, okay? So these two is your reactant. This is your kind of product here, right? So what we'll do if you want to find out the delta G value for this step, the del G for this, suppose here the del G value is, this is the del G value here. And corresponding to this, we'll be having a delta G value here. Okay, so now, we will take these del G values. This, uh, this is the product side, that is the transition state. This delta G, uh, this sorry, this free energy minus this free energy and minus this free energy, right? You will get this product minus reactant. Okay, you will get the, uh, the del G value for this step. It may be positive, it may be negative, it depends. But generally, you should get, I will show you how you will get it. So, in those cases, uh, when you are having uh, these reactants and the first transition state, most of the time that, you know, energy will be positive because that is the transition state will be in higher energy. If you see uh, that first step I was talking about, uh, this step here, uh, the first step okay this uh, yeah this first step so this is our reactant side and this is the first transition state so generally the transition state will be higher in energy right so the energy will be in positive the free energy of this minus free energy of these two components will result in positive value of uh, you know this free energy and further when you are going for the product side the energy will be negative because it is product is stabilized and you get a negative value of uh, delta G. So this is the way to put your data you know no tabulated form for potential energy surface and you have to consider the free energy not the total energy because you know delta energy is an additive you can add and you can subtract but not the total energy okay so that's all in this video. If you have any dot button to this video, you can put in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.
don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you for